What's going down? Thor and Brian back for uh, our first Gamer Corner 2.0. Yeah, buddy. That's Brian. I'm Thor. Uh, no faces this time. Just some good old gameplay footage that we're talking over. Spider-Man swinging through the city. This was your... Uh, so I picked up the Spider-Man PlayStation 4 exclusive what, about a week ago or so. I've been, I've been getting through it. I'm about 15, 16, maybe 20% at this point uh, done with the game. So, so like way behind. So way, way behind. behind. I know eight-year-olds who are done. Well, eight-year-olds eight don't work 50 hours a week, so, you know, <laughs> come at me. Um, this is your first experience with the game, right? Correct. Like, outside I, of videos I've seen, and stuff? I've seen the memes on the internet, but this is the first time I'm, like, watching gameplay. So, I mean, it's exactly what I expected, I guess. It looks, you know, Batman... It's, Arkham. It's very akin to Batman Arkham series, a hundred percent. I mean, even I mean, down to almost every aspect of right. it. It's done by uh, it's not Activision, um, Insomniac Games, with which maybe a division of Activision. I'm not really sure at this point. There's so many different gaming companies, but the controls are sluggish sometimes. Oh, did you just kill that dude? Pretty food. I did. I killed him. Yeah, I killed him. I killed him off the building. <laughs> so, like I said, this is about, like I said, 15% through the game or so. Uh, we're heading towards a shocker mission right now that we're going to play for you guys. And then, uh, um, we'll just kind of talk about just a little bit of the gameplay stuff. But like I said, like we were talking about, it's very akin to the Batman the anime or Batman the anime series, Batman Arkham series. Um, Can I say I in love a, in a good and a bad way the the Batman and in this the the way the integrated cutscenes work. How like you just kind of show up. There's a quick blip cutscene. Like it doesn't. I don't feel like that cutscene took you out of like. I'm not playing right now. Like no. it was like a 30 second. Like you're still going. It some, doesn't feel. Some of them do. Right, but right. For right. the majority of it, you're right. They're they're quicker. Uh, it more keeps cut. that open world. Like it doesn't feel like the the game ever. Like we stop and zone into our, a different thing. It's like we are fighting the. You know, you're you come across the shocker and it's time to freaking stop them. I love how Superman or Super <laughs> Spider Man's so quippy in this. I mean, he's got that whole Spider Man. And quip, you know, uh, as he's even as he, we're swinging here and he's he talking like never to Shocker. Stops talking. Yeah, he's just constantly, constantly running his mouth. I can relate. I mean, maybe that's why, maybe that's why I like it. But yeah, this is just chasing through the city. Uh, get to a certain point, hit triangle, catch, catch him. Boom! Another cutscene like you're talking about. It's real quick. Boom, boom, and, and we're back yep. in the action, dude. What, what were you saying earlier though about the way he travels through the, oh, the way Shocker he, travels? He, he literally couldn't have. Designed a more destructive travel, like Means like it's like travel, yeah. I'm literally land and explode and destroy all the cars and parts of buildings I land on. Like how many people he killed just jumping through the city, especially in the beginning where he's hitting more of the ground. Like boom, there, dead. Just yeah, dead. well, and you see cars are flipping. like flipping yeah. and going all over the place. Yeah. It's like oh my gosh, that's savagery, pure savagery. Um, I like how quick, like when 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 you're playing this game, it never felt like you had to like stop really. It's no. just like zoom through the city. Uh, games like this are fun, especially you know. Uh, There's me not dodging well. Right. <laughs> I'm not great at swinging. There's a couple times through this. Yeah. Through this. Yep. You then definitely I got hit again. aren't like a professional uh, web slinger. Nor do I claim to be. Nor do I claim to be. Um, so what I do like about this game is the. The fighting is definitely like the Arkham series, where you, it's pretty much just button mashing to a certain yeah. extent, mm -hmm. and then you just have to hit counter when his spidey sense tingles. Right. Controlled button mashing. Yeah. Yep. So it's in that aspect, it's pretty easy. I'd say the gameplay is not difficult to pick up if you've played any of the Batman Arkham games, or but they're more experience games <clears throat> than anything. Like you're supposed yeah. to feel cool while you're playing. Well, and the it. graphics are amazing. I mean, just looking at it, the world. Like, New York feels like New York City. You yeah. know what I mean? I will say, outside of this, and it, we'll get to it later in the video, there's parts where you're just swinging around and, like, there's no crime happening. Right. And it's, like, midnight. Because there's different times of days. There's night. There's day. There's afternoon. Like, evening. Oh, me bad swinging again. <laughs> so, oh, got stuck on a wall around there. This I should have done this mission in, like, two minutes instead of, like, five minutes. But, no, I've enjoyed this game. The... 
uh, little man's been loving this game. He'll just sit and watch me play it for as long as we're well, both and that's what's cool. It's so it's such a good watch because it's just it's it's fun to just see you swing around and run on buildings and boom, taken down. I, what I didn't like about this though is this is the end of like this is the end of that mission pretty much. Like cuts like right. over. Like you web him. You don't actually fight him. Right. Which I think that's coming down the road. There's a lot of things that are still unlocked. Mm -hmm. And in a minute we're gonna be getting into some of the menus and some of the stuff you can do in the game some of the suits, the the power abilities. There, there's a lot to this open world game. It's a sandbox game with Spider-Man. If you're not familiar with this uh, game and you're, you know, which I'm not sure why you'd be watching this video, the loading times are a little bit long, long at times. Yeah. I'm like, come on. But let's it's get going. tough to, I mean, it's tough to make it like right. super, I mean, again, I'd say when you compare it to like, back in the day where it's like you know a small little cell this is like you have access to the entire map all at one time so it's like when cutscenes load it's like oh you know i think it's only one island too and mm -hmm. it's not like all of new york you get like right. one island now there's different now there's different missions to go on so now we're done with the shocker mission uh in the beginning we were just kind of doing random crime got, got some level call. ups yep we're talking to mj right now on the phone i don't really love the look of mj in this game but that's a super minor you know point he was just talking to the cop yuri uh that's kind of like his police contact the little so. bit i watched you play this i love her she is yeah, amazing she's she's, she's, she's cool. like so straight like and like just like, I don't know. I so, love her character. <laughs> so the collectibles you can find in this game are called backpacks. And they're like backpacks that Spider-Man's hidden around the city for, I don't know, the last like six years, he said. Oh, so really? So it's like six years since he's been Spider-Man. He works for Dr. Octavius, but Dr. Octavius isn't Dr. Octopus yet. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting. Um, and there's like him and MJ have broken up. It's I don't know if this is what like world this is but this is the map um these are the different suits that you can get you got classic spider-man you got you know the red scarlet the homecoming suit you got uh spider armor mark ii i love so, that and then they one all right got there. different abilities that each suit has its own power and then you can do suit mods so you get three different suit mods right now i have on um what gel padding ballistic inserts and one other one but there's a whole bunch of different ones in there they all have different things. I heard Reduced there's like flash 20, things. Yep. 2, 28 There's suits. gadgets you can build. So again, it's a lot like the Arkham series in that way. Uh, there's also a skill tree, so just like the the Arkham games. And I and we keep comparing it to those because it is just like it, but it's definitely worth purchasing because it's a, it's a good time. If you want to be Spider-Man for 20 plus hours of gameplay, uh, you can do that. Then you got your missions. Um, the stuff collections is what you collect after... Uh, You've been kind of moving around and picking up uh, the backpacks, and then it's got all the characters you meet. So, like, I'm early in the game, I haven't met a lot of people. You really start off the game with Wilson Fisk and fighting mm -hmm, Kingpin, mm -hmm. and now the whole antithesis of this game is what happens after Kingpin goes to jail. Crime kind of goes crazy, so you're just swinging around, and you got to fix these police towers, which is very similar to something you have to do in Arkham with fixing towers, and you even match the signals in a very similar way. Um, and then this is like a drug deal on top of a building, which I don't know why you do it on top of a building, but I guess it's New York. I think you're, aren't so. you saving a guy? I oh, thought yeah, it said maybe, something maybe, about there's no, like no, no, a no. guy who needs nope, to get yep. saved. I don't know if that was that one or if that was the first one. I think this, I think is, this, this is the was saving the drug deal. one, yeah. No, because I don't see a guy, whatever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you can see the little green thing in the corner of the map icon on the bottom. That's one of the backpacks. I think I'm gonna go get that actually right after I'm done with this uh, fight. If I can remember this game. Yeah, right. see look, there's the guy dodging. laying on the ground or oh, whatever yeah, yeah. that he you're was, rescuing. Yep. So I just got shot because I'm not great at dodging. You're so good at this game, and dude. <laughs> and these guys are like tough guys, right? You yeah, have to, they're like, tough guys. Up. You have to web them or you have to do different things. Uh, guys with batons, you need to like hit them in the air. Mm -hmm. And then guys with shields, you have to do a dodge attack. So it's like square circle and you'll dip right. under them and hit them from the back. Then you get these tokens. Uh, you get crime tokens. You get uh, like tokens for doing everything, like backpack tokens, research tokens, because you can go to Dr. Octavius's lab and you kind of. Um, can I say I love the way they like we were calling this a button masher, but I love how they add in these little blips of enemies that change just enough of the button mashing that you can't literally just hit one or two buttons and beat a whole group of dudes. And how I just did that is you can push down on R3 and it actually sends out a thing mm -hmm. and then you can see where stuff is and that's okay. how you find the backpack sometimes. Because sometimes they can be harder to find. 
And now when, if you hit uh, triangle right after you get a collectible, it'll kind of tell you about that collectible. Um, and there's all the ones I've collected so far. I think I got 18 of 55. 19 to 55 after that yeah, backpack. Buddy. So, yeah. Really moving. <laughs> so we're, now we're just dipping through. Um, some web slinging. Some web slinging. Is the camera thing coming up? I think we're you're going to take a picture here soon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the Because you're a photographer, so you have to take pictures of the landmarks. Um, <clears throat> the grayed out areas of the map are parts you haven't activated the tower yet. And then you can. that's when you can see different um, different crimes going on. And you can actually tap into the police ban. But yeah, there's landmarks, and there's landmark tokens as well. So you go find a landmark, which I think I'm heading to right now, and um, then you take a picture of that landmark, and boom, that's it's that easy. So you just keep kind of going through, knocking out those. I haven't really gotten deep, in deep, deep into the side missions, mostly just been stopping crime and doing main, mi- main missions. Yeah. Um, so I will be getting into those down the road, but for the gist of what the game is, I felt we had enough to do, you know, our small review or... Uh, you know, well, and I think we're, we, we've got a lot of good stuff going on here. We, we, there's a piece, a little bit of everything. Right. And you can well, see and, all the And this is him. Like, look, and I've been swinging through the city for a while now, and no crimes popped up. And every time you see that little line go across the screen, that's me hitting the scanner to try okay, to, like, scan yeah. for different yep. things. See, this is the picture yep. part. You oh, failed Oh, so this is the picture miserably. part. We found... Um, Okay, it's L3 to get up on the ledge, can, and I forgot that when I was playing. Can swing through the entire city, but cannot climb up a ledge. Yep. <laughs> that so, ledge beat Spider-Man. <laughs> I found the Sanctuary Sanctum, the Sanctum Sanctuary, whatever it is. Dr. Strange's place, so you take out your camera, and if I can figure out how to work it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm it so took good you like at five minutes to figure out this up. camera. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Picture taken. And then now he says you, a little yep, Landmark token. There you go. And you just go throughout the game. There's lots of stuff to do. It's definitely... Are there only five landmarks or do no, more No, no, per, per section oh, of the okay. map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to so say, wow. It's, it's kind of like boroughs. Or not boroughs, because I think boroughs are like the actual islands. I'm not a big New York mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. smart guy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, so you go through the different areas on the map, and they each have their own individual, like how many landmarks, how many backpacks. Are most of them... Uh, like Avengers, like Easter eggs, or are they? No, no. So a lot of them are like New York landmarks. Okay. You know, like Battery Park. Um, you know, see, so see the cutouts, how it changes mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. there. That's the little. That's how you the can do. Section yep, of that's the landmarks. section of the. Yep. Exactly. So now it's just me swinging around looking for crime. I was trying to find some more fighting to, to You're show too in the good game at play. Spidering. I am. I'm just, you know, I'm too good of a friendly neighborhood spider. I like the suits, though. The suits are cool. You, you got to get the different tokens to craft the suits. And then you get skill points from, like, doing battles and stuff. And that's how you craft, like, the skills. Um, gadgets are the same way. You need the tokens. See, there's me hitting yep, the yep. scanner again. No, what would you say no is crime. your biggest gripe? No crime. So far. Your biggest it complaint. It is clunky at some times. Like, when you're swinging, it uh, it just clogs at some times. And then yeah. it... The the fighting is not as fluid as it could be right. at times, and the camera angle sometimes it gets behind you, and you have to try to swing it around. Right. So it's really nothing different than any of the other games. Um, it's just your classic, you know. Yeah. There's just too much going on for the control you want. To, to, you know yeah, what to, I mean? to handle it for sure. Yeah, but I mean, other than that, it's pretty good. It's it's pretty responsive. I mean, it looks like I said, it looks amazing. It looks exactly like you'd want it to look. Uh, it does I handle love these close pretty well. To the street swings, yeah, it's fun. that's it's how like, you like ooh. pick up uh, pick up speed and stuff like that. So yeah, that's uh, that's Spider Man. What do they just call it? Marvel Spider Man. 2018. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the game. It's just Marvel Spider Man. Into the Spider Verse. Nope, that's the movie coming out in November. Um, but yeah, so go get go pick up your. Uh, Web crawler at your neighbor. What would you uh, rate it? Video game. Oh, are we grading it? Well, I think you should since you've played. Yeah, okay, I mean, you can, haven't beat it, but um, I would give it a solid. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with the game, and I'd probably give it a, a solid A minus. You know, maybe B plus, just because it's what I would say. The controls from what irritate I heard. me sometimes. Yeah. I want to like the the controls irritate me a lot sometimes, especially when I was chasing Shocker yeah. in the beginning part of the video. A lot of times when I got stuck, it wasn't I got stuck. It was the unresponsiveness of the controller at times. Yeah, game error, not user yeah. error. Don't don't let anyone tell you otherwise. That's right. You damn right. From what I've heard, if you're like a person who likes to just like crush, defeat, beat games quickly. 
this game is a rental probably because I've yeah. heard you can get it done in like two days easy. If oh, you it's, focus it's an story. under 20 hour playthrough if you right. like if you like smash through it. But if you spend your time doing exploring, it, exploring, yeah, you can get hours and getting hours collectibles. Out of yeah, well, that's it. Gamer Corner 2.0 is in the books. The first one, uh, Marvel Spider Man. Tell us what you think of the game, like, share, subscribe. You know what to do. Till the next video, deuces. Deuces.